Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and this is Season Adult Good Life Show. We have Daphne Young with us today, and she is with Serenity Enhancement Center, which is located here in Centerville. So first off, Daphne, tell us when you opened and what your center does. Okay. We officially opened February the 1st of this year. Mm -hmm. We are an adult day activities program, and it's geared towards our senior citizens, 55 and older, that need a purpose for their day and they're not quite safe enough to stay home alone. Right. We provide engaging activities, exercise programs, music therapy, and a lot of socialization. It's very important for them to continue to try mm -hmm. to talk with others on a regular basis. So if someone has a friend, relative, family member, you know, that mm -hmm. might need your services, mm -hmm. um, where do they come? Okay, we are located at 207 North Liberty Street, Suite C. We share office space with Bridges Health Behavioral Center. Uh -huh. It used to be the old McCroon building here okay. in town. Right. Um, there is ample parking in the back of the building and that's where our entrance is. Okay. The lettering uh, information is on the door to tell you which door to come to. And there's also, it's handicap accessible. So is there an evaluation that the person would need to go through or do they just fill out forms? How does that all work? I usually encourage them to just come and visit okay. with their family member. Um, let's give them a tour and talk about the activities. And while we're doing that, I am a nurse by trade. Okay. I'm a registered nurse. So I, my entire nursing career has been with patients that have dementia or, or cognitive impairment um, diagnoses. So I, I just observe. You know, are they able to respond to any questions I have? I watch their body language. Are they anxious? Uh, they do need to be able to use the restroom themselves, okay. feed themselves, and hopefully benefit from the programs that we offer. Now, um, you mentioned you were a nurse. Mm -hmm. uh, are there medicines that you dispense then if someone has some medical need. Mm -hmm. um, I know with my mother, she has pills that she takes certain times of the day. We do not dispense per se, but if someone has medications that they need while at our center, if they come in a pill box, right. I can, I am licensed to say, these are your medications with just verbal cueing and they have to be able to take their own medicines. Okay, so they would bring like a pill box yes. and then mm -hmm. flip it open to right. whatever day. Right. Right. Okay, so give us an idea of what a day schedule would be, what, what okay. a person would expect when they come in. A typical day, most of our participants come between 9 and 10.30. Mm -hmm. um, people that are retired or have some cognitive impairment, usually mornings, they need to take their time and it helps with keeping them in a calm state of being. Right. So when they come, they usually have already had their breakfast, but as soon as they arrive, we offer them tea, coffee, juice, hot chocolate, and a, nu a nutritious snack. And what I consider a nutritious snack would be cheese and crackers or something that comes in its own peel. Mm -hmm. And then we do exercises. We um, go into what we call our living room, and they get to choose the music that we do exercises to. And we exercise for about 20 minutes to a half hour. Wow. And it's, it's just been amazing. I have uh, two participants that have had strokes. Okay. And I have seen an increase in their range of motion with That's their extremities. Great. It yeah. is. So it's just exciting to see that they're improving their muscle tone, which helps with falls and balance and just general daily activities that they do. Um, arthritis sets in, which you know creates challenges for them turning you know the lid off mm -hmm. of a jar yes. so if I can help them feel stronger in any way then then we're doing what we want to do and we also work on a lot of breathing um, all of us tend to shallow breathe and it's very important for the elderly for circulation purposes to get that air all the way down to their toes to the tips of their fingers it improves their thinking process by getting good oxygen flow so how do you do that well that we they all have to sit up straight okay and they have to uh, you put their hands on their abdomen okay and they have to take a deep breath and when it's time to blow it out 
they have to pretend they're blowing out a candle. Okay. So it's forcing the air out of the lungs, which creates good air exchange, and that also can help with keeping pneumonia at bay because they're exchanging the air instead of stale air staying in the bottom of the lungs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then um, we would probably have a 10 or 15 minute break while we're preparing meals, which they um, get a hot meal at noon that is brought in. And then it's also social time because we all sit at the same table, we all eat the same food. Right. And I, I kind of gauge if you know they're drinking enough fluids, well, big on drinking water. Right, right. You, know, and you don't want them to dehydrate. No, right. no. And, and vitamin C, uh, a lot of, I have some juice drinkers. But I, I want to make sure that they're getting at least one meal where they've got all the you know, nutritional value that they can have. And the meals also are reviewed by a certified d dietitian. Right. So um, then after mealtime, I have one lady who likes to help clean. So she is what we call on KP duty. So okay. she, she helps bring in the glasses and, and we give them time to use the restroom and just take a few minute break. And then we, we play games like um, left, right, center. It's a dice game that you throw and there's a L, a C, and a R. So they have, they're reading it, number one, and then they have to think, I have these chips, which direction do I go in them? Okay. So it's, it's again, making those connections in the brain and they have fun doing it. Um, we also do was, um, continue that phrase. So we start a sentence and they have to finish it. And of course we do offer bingo because that's right. always a favorite. Oh, yeah. 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 So we also engage them in that way in that they take turns calling mm -hmm. the numbers. So again, it's about reading and remembering the letters. And then um, in the afternoons, later in the afternoon, we give them some downtime because it takes a lot of energy for them to, I, I say that they're trying to keep this high, you know. Concentration. Maintain. Yes, they yeah. are because they don't want people to think that there's anything that they find challenges with. So it tires them. So usually around three, four o'clock, when one person leaves and they're all ready to go, you'll, they'll go get their coats and, you know. Um, but I have had patients stay as late till five o'clock, which is fine. So then we do one-on-one. -on -one. We play card games right. or we draw. Um, again, it's about hand-eye coordination. We've made beautiful butterflies and it was just so neat to see the various colors that they each used and the patterns that they use. So it was... Um, that yeah. wouldn't be a craft that I would. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not the artistic one. I rely on my husband for that. <laughs> but um, so finance-wise, mm -hmm. um, are there? Well, how does that work? Okay, we accept private pay and people that need Medicaid. So Medicaid has to go through the Department of Aging or Social Services. Okay. And what would happen is they would make the referral, we review the plan of care, and we both decide together would they be appropriate for our program. Right. And then payment is, uh, we're reimbursed through Medicaid for their day okay. with us. Private pay, um, as I said, I invite them to come in and visit, and I do what I call an assessment of right. them. Right, right. And I also give them what's called a BIMS. It's a behavioral intervention um, plan that tells me where they are mentally. It's quick, to the point, only a couple questions, because I do find that people that have cognitive impairment, the more questions you ask them, the more anxious and yeah. frustrated they mm -hmm. are, so they're less likely to answer them when correctly. When As they you normally, go on, more exactly, questions exactly. you ask, correct. Um, so there is a little bit of paperwork. I review our policies and procedures for our center and, and the family or participant gets a copy of that. And we review the, the payment schedule. Okay. Um, it is $50 a day at this time um, with a minimum of four hours. I, I know people would like to drop them by, but I find that uh, but those with cognitive impairment, just it's, stopping in uh -uh. for an hour. To disrupt the schedule is it, hard It does, on them. they're very reoriented yes. and the more it, uh, often they come, the more they benefit. Right, and, and if you it's can consistent. See it. Yes, 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 yes. Because yeah. if not, it's having that first day every day. Exactly. You know? And then the, they don't bond with the other participants or with um, my partner and I, who's my sister Susan. Okay, yeah. so, so tell us um, how a person, could they call? Absolutely. Or is there an email site or, or uh, could you give us that information sure for can. someone that 
sure. might be interested? Um, they can call myself and my number is 410-490-6927 or Susan's number which is 410-924-1114. Okay. We also have a website, it's SeniorCenter.me because it's all about you. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And there is um, a place that uh, one of the pages says contact information, so they're more than uh, welcome to contact us that way. And we also have an email address that um, I use, it's Serenity Enhancement Center at mail.com. But we really encourage people to stop by so they can see right. um, the center itself. It's very home-like. As I said, we have a living room, we have a dining room, we have a kitchen. It could be a house. The only thing it doesn't have is a bedroom. Right. <laughs> Well, that's good to know that, well, you. you know, we have something like that because there's so many different things that are happening as we get older and some people don't need quite as much right. service as other people and so um, we need to offer more we things do. like that we do. in different areas of the county. Yes, and that was one of the things that came up in my when we researched about doing this project was there's there was a gap. Mm -hmm. You have the wonderful county senior centers and those are for senior adults who can drive themselves and are able to be home alone and and they're wonderful programs and then we jump to assisted living or skilled nursing facilities so what about those the gap people yeah. in between yeah. that they're not quite ready for assisted living and they're not able to really benefit from the center senior centers that already exist so we're able to fill that niche well, thank you for coming in thank and you giving very us much the information. Hopefully, people will give you a call or look into the program, and you'll be able to satisfy other people that need the program. We're, that's what our goal is, to be of service to our community. All Thanks right. again for coming right. in. Thank you very much.